Hello, we are two sisters, Julia and Anastasia. In our journey of regenerating and living off the land and learning to build, farm and garden, one of the things that we have learnt is to adapt within nature. To follow its rhythms, the seasons, the weather. And shift our needs and routine within this. Following the cycles of nature rather than a clock or a calendar. As we learn to live this way, we have suddenly began to find joy in the smallest of moments. We wake up early with the sun, and we let the animals out from their night pens. It's one of the sweetest moments of the day, and Magnolia always calls out, Good morning! back to us. When we move the goats to the paddock next to the veggie garden, we have to run super fast so that they don't get distracted. Otherwise, within the second, Moth will be found with a whole broccoli in her mouth. The sheep are eager to be taken to their new paddock for the day, where they know there'll be treats like fresh grass and fallen fruit. <laughs> And of course, they always want cuddles, especially Palmyra. There's so much joy in every task of the day. The sheep dance down the hill when they're excited. Nah. And the goats too. We're leaving the sheep to graze down here in this paddock. So Maggie and Moth are going to follow me across the farm to check how the fruit are growing. They always get too excited about the juicy rainforest plants, so sometimes they take a while. I try to do these jobs while it's still early, before the heat of the day.
The guavas are only small now. They'll be ready in autumn when the cooler weather begins. This is our mango orchard. Our grandfather and father planted this together. The trees are always a special reminder of their lives and how they continue to nurture us. This paddock is surrounded by a creek and a beautiful rainforest. It is a north facing slope so it grows tropical fruit well. We're very excited that we have some jackfruit on this year and we're checking out to see if they're mature. I'm trying to decide whether it's ready or not. When we're picking fruit, we always keep in mind when the full moon is coming as they ripen with its rhythm. I can't quite reach. I should have brought my snips. Yay! Oh. It's so heavy. We're excited to make a savory jackfruit chili from this. The mangoes are almost ready. And now it's time to walk home. The lychees aren't ready yet. And because we've had such a rainy summer, a lot have been knocked off. Jackfruit are supposed to make a hollow sound if they're ripe. This one isn't quite ripe yet. Someone here sent us a recipe for a Vietnamese young jackfruit salad, so we might try that instead. The black cockatoos cool in the rain, so when there are this many around, we know that a rainstorm is coming. They are so special to watch, soaring through the valley. This is one of the special moments in our day where we just stop and enjoy the beauty of nature. Sure enough, here comes the rain. Our monsoon season has arrived, so these rainstorms come often and the build up to them is hot and humid. We have to work around them. If you get caught out in them, the rain is so beautiful and heavy, you get absolutely soaked.
The black cockatoos are settling in the gum trees across the valley. Our dad always said that he'd come back as a black cockatoo, so these birds are so special. Whenever they visit, we just stop and watch. Now that the rain has passed, it's time we get some work done. Living in nature, we have learned to flow and shift so that each day is uniquely adopted for the seasons and weather. We don't set an alarm, but wake up with the sun. We eat when we're hungry, we work when it's cool, and we don't look at clocks or follow calendars. But the fruit ripens and the flowers bloom and tell us the time of year. The black cockatoos come in the rainy season. The kookaburras sing out at sunrise and sunset. The butcher bird family always arrive for their mid-afternoon swim in the garden pond. The snakes and goannas sleep in the winter and wake up for the summer. Our calendar is set to the ripening of each fruit. We can look at the colour and length of the shadows on the cliff face above us and know exactly what time of day and what time of year it is. It is like a sundial above us. So today this meant getting up early before the heat arrived pausing in a rain shower and always noticing beauty. And now we all work out in the field and reward ourselves later with a creek swim and a picnic. Our summer is a little bit like a Northern Hemisphere winter. It's difficult to get much work done because it's so hot rather than so cold. So we tend to hibernate a little at this time. <laughs> But because there has been so much rain, we realised that today is the perfect day to do some land regeneration work. The soil is soft and the weeds are easy to pull. We're slowly working on clearing the invasive species from our paddocks. This gives the animals more pasture and allows for native species in the forest to regenerate, helping so much with the plant and animal biodiversity. We have koalas living in the forest, but they need the native species to survive, so it's really important to regenerate the land. This is lantana. It's really tough to pull out and super spiky, but after the rain it's a little easier. It's such a joyous moment when you pull out a big clump.
Magnolia and Moth also help out with our regeneration efforts. They are great at keeping invasive species at bay, and they have helped us clear a couple of paddocks before this one. Lantana can be poisonous to animals if they eat too much, but if they have other food choices, they adapt to know how much is good for them. Maggie! Good guy! Yay, we've actually cleared a good area. We'll come back tomorrow and do some more. Another moment of joy is feeding these cheeky sheep mulberry leaves. It's their favorite treat. <laughs> oh, black sapote. Because of the nature of living on a farm, we don't actually have days off. We always have to be there for the animals. For this reason, we balance moments of each day between work and recreation. The day is really getting hot now, so we're going to have a picnic by the creek and spend the rest of the afternoon playing and enjoying another facet of beauty and nature. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.